Hey, what's up? This is your bully here. So today I'm gonna make this uh, infinite uh, looping and morphing animation by using Blender 3.0 geometry nodes. Uh, I was inspired by this uh, Cinema 4D tutorials from uh, Fatu tutorials. So yeah, link in the description if you have interesting, uh, please watch his videos and big shout out to uh, Fatu tutorials. Uh, so let's get started. First, delete right in the camera. Don't delete the full cube. And open geometry node editor or geometry node editor as usual and Grid, mesh line, instance on point, plug like this, and realize instances, and duplicate it, and input group input to instance, and changing this value to 6, and 2, 2, cube is still kind of huge so transform node and let's decrease this scale value to 0 0.49 yeah it's gonna be like this perfectly aligned you know two by two and uh, don't forget to add Realize instances at the end. Okay, and uh, I also wanna uh, add bezel before this modifier and maybe five. A segment amount is 0 0.05 and town shade smooth and adjust. Uh, all smooth, maybe five. Okay. Hmm. It looks perfect. Okay. Go back to geometry node. I'm gonna make uh, animation moving uh, upwards. So yeah. Let's add that position. and make position object info vector mass okay let's create empty cube and select it and change it relative plug position here location here and change operation to subtract and duplicate mass node change it add and plug position and subtract value and add value to here okay i want to uh each cube moving only at the axis so make a separate xyz here and combine xyz here and plug x value but plug z value Create map range, float curve, and change map range value to 2501. And change curve, something like this. And if you move this cube object upwards, it's gonna be like this. Hmm. Looks great. Moving on next step, I'm uh, gonna add Ike Sphere and change subdivision to 3 and turn on this cube and shade smooth. I duplicate this uh, geometry node to Ike Sphere, so create a new geometry node and delete this node and paste it. But now it's hard to adjust later, so yeah, it's gonna be 
for example, uh, changing this value, uh, icosphere has been changed, but not uh, cube, you know, only icosphere is changing. So, yeah, I want to input same value uh, cube and icosphere. So, yeah, let's make group and also this node convert to group okay and copy to cube and also copy this group node to cube right good this uh, by creating this node group I can adjust uh, I can just at the same time, you know. Yeah, at the same time, it's moving same time, you know. So yeah, it's easy to adjust right there. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna create a morphing morphing part. So turn off this cube object. And let's create another modifier called shrink wrap. Select target and change method to nearest object and create new vertex group. Select it and clicking this little icon, you can check its morphing, you know. I'm gonna make uh, some attribute to control this uh, vertex group and creating morphing animation. First, create instance two points, not on points, and transfer attribute, change nearest, and create color ramp. Invert it and change to ease create separate xyz plug here and g value to here okay and select group okay it's working yeah it's working and i also need this subtract value so yeah plug to output node and the new vector output appears so I'm gonna use it create separate XYZ plug it here okay and again map range and uh, road curb plug Z value and curb to attribute transfer and let's adjust map range 0, 3, 0, 1 okay and change curve like this okay and turn off this little icon it's gonna be like this it's morphing you know uh, I want to moving uh, cube and x wheels at the same time so let's create new empty and parent it make parent uh, rename it controller and uh, moving this controller upwards it's gonna be oh let's turn off this cube it's gonna be like this you know it's moving but yeah, look at this part. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. So yeah, I'm gonna fix it. So let's add new modifier called dead transfer. Attention, this uh, modifier is so heavy. It's working very very slowly, so yeah, I suggest turn off in viewport 
but only show up in final render. Select cube, select group, and turn on uh, face corner data, and custom normal. And let's turn on this data transfer. Oh, I forget to uh, turn on all smooth. Yeah, it's gonna be fixed, you know? Before, after, before, after. But it's it's not perfect, you know? Uh, look at this line. This line. I cannot fix uh, this normal problem perfectly by using this data transfer it looks better but not perfect uh, I cannot find a solution of this problem so yeah uh, if you know how to fix this problem uh, please tell me in the comment but it's kind of okay you know Who's care about this little little normal er errors? Okay, moving on. And I also need uh, this group value for shading, you know. But it's a uh, uh, flow value, so I cannot use in shader graph. So yeah, let's make another group output let's plug this value to here and oh and let's create a vertex color and go back to modifier and select it okay moving on shader graph create new materials and let's add a attribute and the plug to base color and type vertex color name and yeah and create color ramp change color something uh, like this I don't know uh, and moving this controller to upwards so I'm gonna make some animation like this and set this keyframe interpolation to linear and make some huge plane and play it yeah it's perfectly looping make camera I can see uh, this uh, problem, but I can easily fix it going back to geometry node. Yeah, something like this. Okay. The perfect tree looping. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and big respect to far two tutorials uh, if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel and follow me on instagram and twitter so yeah uh, have a nice day bye bye peace out